This is a story of a sanctuary to be lost forever. A place where fish of all species can seek sanctuary from predators and man to give birth to the next generation of fish without the worries or interference from boat traffic or fishing pressure. The Kaneka River and the Scambia River consists of a single 258 mile stretch of river that runs from the Scambia Bay all the way to Gant Lake. 25 years ago, just 20 miles north of the Scambia Bay, the Scambia River began to change. A small stretch of river that oxbowed would soon be home to one of the largest freshwater sanctuaries in the south. During the spring of 1990, the southern U.S. would experience the worst flood in over a century. As the Scambia River rose to record heights, reaching a flood stage of nearly 25 feet, the river soon jumped its bank to forge a new path. In 1994, Tropical Storm Alberta made landfall, completely changing the direction of the river even further. Over the course of some years, the ground eroded, exposing large cypress roots that would soon forge the buildup of the Badlands. It's the news that residents along the Gulf Coast didn't want to hear. Hurricane George is strengthening. Welcome to Weather Center. I'm Warren Madden. And I'm Dave Schwartz, sitting in for Christina Abernathy. Boat owners are preparing for the storm all along the Gulf Coast, including right here in Pensacola. In 1998, Hurricane George made landfall, adding even more buildup of trash and logs to the Badlands. During the landfall of Hurricane Ivan in 2004, the buildup of wood was astonishing. The Badlands would grow from just a few hundred feet to nearly 1,000 feet thick, blocking boats from traveling through this stretch of river until today. Over the course of many years, the Badlands, as some locals have come to call it, will grow and shrink, collecting bass boats, houseboats, and entire trees as she continued to build. The massive log jam started to grow its own ecosystem, becoming its own part of the river accumulating greenery, plants, as she came to life. Frogs, birds, and sportfish began to gather for sanctuary around this amazing creation of nature. Huge catfish and stripers began to accumulate beneath the piles of floating timber. Scambia River has grown a history of unethical fishermen that patrol these waters, taking and giving nothing back in the most unethical, outlawish ways known to sporting methods. With no law enforcement around, shocking, trapping, netting, and set lines decimated the fishing along this entire stretch of river, except one. Under this log jam gave the only protection from outlaws that plagued the river. We have traveled every stretch of the Scambia River from the south to the north and only found one place that consistently produces trophy catfish and is now under threat of being destroyed forever. We have caught and released hundreds of catfish in the Badlands, always returning fish over 20 pounds back to the river. In February 2013, Scambia County awarded $68,498 contract to Florida Forest Recyclers, LLC, to remove the vessels and associated debris, including thousands of logs from the Scambia River and one mile north of the Cotton Lake Boat Ramp. In November, Keith Wilkins, director of Escambia County Community and Environmental Department, said Florida Forest Recyclers had reorganized into a new company, Southern Forest Recyclers. He said Southern Forest Recyclers has a $2 million contract for the wood from the log jam and the company was awaiting their final work permits for the water management district. Once the log jam is removed, it will open up the floodgates for outlaws to take full advantage of the river's natural resources. Boats will be able to launch from any ramp along the river, reaching locations that were once protected by the Badlands. And for this, we say farewell to what was once a good thing made by Mother Nature and that will soon be long forgotten.